Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek Pandala. I'm a graduate student working towards my PhD degree at Virginia Tech. I'm delighted to present my paper in this talk titled Robust Predictive Control for Quadrupedal Locomotion, Learning to Close the Gap Between Reduced and Full Order Models. Let me start this talk with a brief motivation. Many approaches exist for motion planning of legged robots. These can be sectioned into two categories depending on whether they use reduced order models or full order models. Although reduced order models are simple and amenable for real-time implementation, they limit the full scope of the robot by making approximations. On the other hand, approaches based on full order models suffer from computational bottlenecks. To resolve these issues, we propose a planning and control framework that bridges the gap between reduced and full order models. To this end, we present a layered control approach which consists of a computationally tractable robust MPC at the higher level and a nonlinear controller based on virtual constraints at the low level. This control architecture is then integrated with a trained neural network that computes the uncertainties necessary to close the gap between reduced and full order models. Coming to the background of this talk, various reduced order models exist for planning legged locomotion which include linear inverted pendulum model, centroidal dynamics, and single rigid body dynamics model. In this talk, we will be using SRBD model. These reduced order models are then utilized in an MPC framework to generate optimal trajectories in real time. Within the MPC community, approaches that consider robustness and uncertainty include closed loop minmax MPC, open loop minmax MPC, and tube based MPC. Although tube based RMPC and stochastic MPC have been employed for legged locomotion, these approaches used LIP model leading to quasi-static locomotion. Here we present a pictorial overview of the control framework. We have a robust MPC framework which generates desired ground reaction forces which are then tracked by a low-level nonlinear controller. The output torques of this low-level nonlinear controller are then used to generate the desired motion in the robot. To close the gap between reduced and full order models, we compute an uncertainty set using a neural network that is trained offline. This control framework enables the robust locomotion of A1 quadrupedal robot on rough terrain as seen in this video. In this work, we will be using single rigid body dynamics of the floating base of the robot. The SRBD model includes the position and velocity of the center of mass together with the orientation and angular velocity as its state space. The ground reaction forces at each of the contacting legs form the control space of this model. As the SRBD model represents a nonlinear control system, we linearize it using variation based linearization and obtain a linear time varying dynamics at every sample time. Now we present the robust MPC framework. In this framework, we consider the linear time varying dynamics with an additive uncertainty. Furthermore, we assume that this uncertainty omega k belongs to a convex uncertainty set. Now, the robust planning problem consists of designing an RMPC algorithm to steer the LTV system from an initial state to a final state in the presence of uncertainties while respecting state and control feasibility conditions. For the RMPC framework, based on each vertex of the uncertainty set, we obtain a different realization of the MPC state prediction. In this work, in order to maintain computational tractability of the MPC, we consider uncertainty only at the current time sample and ignore uncertainties at future state predictions. Here we present the final realization of RMPC framework as a quadratic program. This quadratic program has quadratic cost that penalizes the deviation of state and control trajectories from their desired evolution while respecting state and control feasibility constraints. In addition to these, we also have a causality constraint at the beginning of every time sample. In order to compute the uncertainty set, we use deep reinforcement learning techniques to train a neural network offline. We use proximal policy optimization algorithm to train a fully connected neural network with two hidden layers of 128 neurons each. Furthermore, the observables of the neural network include the Z component of the center of mass, the base frame orientation, linear and angular velocities, together with the relative position of heat from the center of mass. The reward function for training the neural network is a linear combination of the square of forward velocity and the square of joint torques. Here we perform a numerical study where we generate 550 rough terrains and simulate nominal MPC, RMPC with two vertices and RMPC with three vertices. The solve time for RMPC with three vertices is 10.9 milliseconds, for RMPC with two vertices is 4.2 milliseconds, and nominal MPC is 1.24 milliseconds. It can be noticed from the figure on the right that the percentage success rate for RMPC with three vertices, two vertices, and nominal MPC is 
43.58 percent, 37.79 percent, and 23.51 percent, respectively. As the computational time for RMPC with three vertices outweighs the performance, we restrict ourselves to RMPC with two vertices for all the hardware experiments. Here we present two case studies. The plot on the left shows a comparison of the Z component of the ground reaction forces generated based on both reduced and full order models. The data presented here is for the experiments on flat terrain and on slope. It can be noticed that RMPC produces ground reaction forces that are closer to those generated by full order model, indicating a bridging of gap between reduced and full order models. The video on the right shows the contribution of neural network as the robot traverses wooden blocks. Now we present the experimental demonstration of the proposed control framework. Here we can see the A1 quadrupedal robot navigating uneven terrain with wooden blocks at half a meter per second and uneven terrain filled with gravel. Similarly, we can see the proposed control framework enabling locomotion on compliant gym mat with unknown blocks as well as locomotion on mulch. Here we can see the A1 quadrupedal robot navigating slippery surface covered with cooking oil and carrying a payload of 10 pounds which accounts to 36% uncertainty in mass. Furthermore, navigation on inclined terrain covered with grass is also performed. Here we can see a curated list of experiments with the A1 quadrupedal robot navigating various indoor terrains which include uneven terrains with wooden blocks, compliant terrains and slippery surfaces. Here we can see outdoor experiments which include locomotion on grass and gravel with and without payload. For more experiments, please watch the supplementary material provided with this paper. Thank you for your kind attention. I am happy to answer any questions.